Hey guys, thanks for joining. So in the previous video we did the do the get key API call and we were able to get the key of the uh, to be able to communicate with the device so we don't have to use our credentials every time. Now what we're gonna do is actually just we're gonna get uh, the security policies that are applied on the file. Okay? And to be able to do that, what we have to do, as I said, so this is our firewall which is uh, which, has, which has this IP. To get the XML API doc, you just specify slash API and it will redirect you to this URL. And to get the REST API, all you have to do is REST API dash doc. All right. So what we care about is the security policy. So let's start. All right. To get the security policy, you need to perform this query which is here, let's copy that, and you need to specify the location, and also you will have to also specify the VSYS. So let's run our API doc, all right? So let's do new, HTTP request, and let's specify this IP, under authentication, so, Let's specify API key and as you can see it's actually auto populated that um, you have to use the key x-pan-key so that's for the key and uh, the values is the key values which are here that you got from the key query or key API call and you specify add to header okay all right so now under parameters what we need to do is specify the location All right, and also we need to specify in our case that it is a VS PY1 okay and boom we got all our uh, security policies alright so we have the deny URL and we have the All of that. My internet DNS. So it tells you you have six rules. Okay. Alright, so let's save this one and name it uh, Alright, so let's do another one. Since we're only three minutes into this video, let's create a security rule, okay? Alright, so here you need to specify the name, the value, and definitely the parameters for the security rule, and it's a post API call. So what we could do to make this easy, just we could, all we have to do is duplicate this, and let's go into, let's rename it. Or you know what, let's name it security rule and let's name this one security rule but and since we know REST API get is actually gathering data post is uh, changing the data so let's just rename this to post and save this and what we need to do and inside the name we need to give it a name here too Authentication, the same authentication, header, not changing anything under the body. Okay, so what I do is usually after generating the get request, I get one of those queries. I get quick copy, and let's specify data body raw, and this is JSON format. Postman is really helpful to, and you can see it tells you if you have anything messed up or anything wrong. Alright, so let's name this, we have to name it the same name, which is API rule 1. So those we don't need to specify, and actually do we need to put the name, oh we have to put the name, yes. And it should be like dash under entry. Right, in our case we didn't put it under entry, so let's do that. Mm. 
you could specify here this is you need to know the zones for sure before doing it and let's just uh yeah, this is nothing it's a different one and it's disabled so it's fine i don't care uh, whatever it does so let's just run it okay Oh, it is successful, alright, so you get a status 200 and the status are similar to HTTP and what we could do, we could go to the firewall and policy security policy and you could see it has created the rule and deny and so on and so on, okay, with all the data that you want to do Let's say you want to move this uh, security policy to a different location. So let's go to the dock. Let's pull API, edit, move security rule. All right. So there is like those conditions move to top, bottom, before, after. Okay. So let's, let's say we want to move it to the top. So let's perform that action. It's also a post request. And. Uh, Alright, so it's pretty straightforward. All we have to provide the name, the parameter. So let's duplicate. Rename. Move. Okay, policy. So here what we need to add is the where. Now let's say top. And we need to fix this query. Just at the end it should say it should say uh, colon move. And the body, we don't need to have anything. Oh, okay, perfect. There's nothing there because we didn't save anything here. Right, so let's send this. Missing parameter name. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do copy here, it will automatically fill it into the parameter field also. So let's run that now, and success. Let's go back to the firewall, refresh. And as you could see, the, the security policy has moved to the top. And let's move it before like my internet uh, DNS. Let's save this, space duplicate. So let's go back to the dock and it tells us here, let's do before. And then on the destination. Perfect success, and let's take a look at it. And as you can see, the API rule has moved to in front of the My Internet DNS, right? So just want to say that those uh, changes are not committed. Uh, we'll do a commit uh, in the upcoming videos. Uh, thanks for joining. Please, guys, like and subscribe. That would be really helpful. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.